<laughs> Welcome everybody to another episode of The Weed News. I am your host, Mike Cannon. I appreciate all the concern and well wishes over last week's episode. Like I said, it was a dark one. I was in a weird place mentally and emotionally, but I appreciate all the nice little comments I got below, some tweets. Very few go fuck yourselves, those peppered in, very nice, but uh, either way, I'm fine, things are back to normal, and if you notice scratches on my arms, it's not what you think, I went hiking. Let's get started. In our first story, legendary actor Morgan Freeman just came out in support of marijuana legalization across the board. What's weird is that he released his statement as a narration over the Shawshank Redemption rape scene. Poor Andy Dufresne. To quell the pain of rape from the sisters, he would take gravity bong hits behind his Raquel Welsh poster. And who supplied him that marijuana? Me. Because I was a man who could get things on the inside. Including facial HPV. That's what it is, right? His face has so many bumps on it, a blind racist would know to hate him. It's like, wait, I like that voice. It's pretty soothing, but hold on a second. Wait a minute, God damn it! It's very exciting to have a major celebrity on board for the movement, especially one with such a sterling record. You know, besides that little car crash that he got into with his granddaughter that he was fucking. But who are we to judge? Banging his granddaughter was probably on his bucket list before traveling to Las Vegas and finishing the autopilot on the Batwing. You should see the shit Jack Nicholson was doing behind the scenes. Here's a hint, he was doing blood play with Magic Johnson's son. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Do you know what blood play is? It's so fucked up. It's when you draw blood from each other and smear it all over your, each other's bodies while you're fucking. It's a goddamn nightmare. The fact that I know these things should actually be more of a reason for you not to tune in. Freeman says he ingests THC in any form he can get his hands on to deal with the pain that he got from that 2008 car crash. Oddly enough, his ex-wife does the exact same thing. Also, I do the same thing just to sit through that fucking penguin movie that has his charming voice over just people waddling and finding a mate for the rest of their lives. Isn't that the most romantic thing you could think of? Just makes me want to fucking take a harpoon right to their beak. PETA, holla at me, get this goddamn show some buzz. I mean every word of it. I'm gonna snap a penguin's beak off and then take shots of their cum out of it. All while wearing a fur coat and uh, I don't know, raping a dolphin? They feel it. They have the same mental capacity as human beings. Well, sorry about that entire thing, but in our next segment, what to do while weeded. Doing mushrooms while high. Pot is the yin to mushrooms yang. As soon as you take a hit, or at least, you know, this might be my own personal experience, but as soon as you take a hit of marijuana, it intensifies the visuals by about 10 times. It's like cracking your back on acid just shoots you right back into the thick of things. Or, you know, like putting your finger on my butthole when we have sex. Right, it just restarts the entire situation. Me, typically I come pretty quickly. Listen, I'm a fan of butt play. I'm not a guy with the finger in the, in the ass. I'm a little too scared for that. It just seems like a breach of my body. And I, don't, I haven't even tried it myself, but I have washed enough with soap to where it's nearly slipped and I've gotten a knuckle deep. That butt play, neither here nor there. Like I said at the beginning of the show, I went hiking this weekend. We went eight miles into Harriman Park stayed overnight and took a substantial amount of mushrooms. Both of those things are illegal. Smoked eight blunts too, which is why I feel like I swam in a chlorinated pool all weekend. I smoked an indica because why intensify the headiness? You're already gonna get shot through space mentally, so why not just calm down a little bit and assuage your feelings of panic? Is that the word or is it assage? Either way, hooked on phonics, did not work for me. But I experienced the most intense visuals of my entire life. We stayed right on a lake and there was a giant forest of pine trees across the way and I saw just this ever-shifting graffiti art. It looked like the stuff Chris Brown spray paints right after he ends up working over a bitch and it was just kind of morphing into other shapes and right next to that was kind of like this weird sleepy blinky dragon that just like kept smiling at me and fading and just like it kind of looked like the green dinosaur to Barney. You know the little girl that he like he's definitely doggy style puppet fucking her in some capacity on that show. I wonder if he did it on in front of Selena Gomez when she was a guest. 
Either way, one can tug it to something, can't they? Thank you everybody for watching another episode of The Weed News. Listen to my podcast, Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. Follow me on Twitter, at I am Mike Cannon, and go to StandUpNYLabs.com to check out all of their podcasts and shows. More video stuff coming out. We're playing live video games sometimes. We're playing poker for no money whatsoever. And every once in a while, John, producer John and I will just jump on here and or Periscope and just suck each other off to see how long it takes before we get kicked off. All right, take care everybody, see you next week.